Jess, and today we are going to be traveling the world from our kitchen table. I went to my local grocery store and went down the international aisle and basically just picked up a bunch of snacks that I am super excited to try. So the inspiration for this video is basically that two years ago, I was on my birthright trip in Israel, which if you don't know what birthright is, if you're Jewish, you are gifted a trip to Israel, all expenses paid for 10 days and it was the trip of a lifetime. I made the most amazing friends, we had the most amazing experiences, and so I kinda just wanted to commemorate those travels and satisfy my wanderlust through food. You know what, I really miss traveling, so we're just gonna eat and pretend that we're going to all these places. <laughs> so grab your passport, grab your travel backpack, and here we go, let's travel around the world with our mouth. The first snack that we have today is actually a drink, and that is some British tea that I bought while I was in London, and it's from this beautiful tea brand called Wittard, which obviously you can tell the packaging on this is amazing. And this is a black tea that has actual roses in it. Can you see? It literally has dried rose petals in it. So I've already steeped the tea and it is in my London mug. This is a beautiful, whoa, that is so hot. This is a beautiful hand painted mug that I bought in London to commemorate my trip as a little souvenir. But I'm also using this tea to prep another snack that we're trying today from Amsterdam, which is a Stroop waffle. I have been to Amsterdam. It's one of my favorite cities I've ever been to for many reasons. I went to the Van Gogh Museum. I loved traveling along the canals. And this is one of the most famous snacks from the Netherlands. And when you eat a Stroop waffle, you're actually supposed to heat it up on a cup of coffee or a mug of tea. And I'm going to put this Stroop waffle on top of my tea and heat it up while we try some other snacks. I got the chocolate caramel flavor. Oh, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Look at that. Basically, it just looks like a waffle with caramel inside of it. And we're going to place it on top of our tea mug and just kind of let the steam from the tea heat up the Stroop waffle. And then we're going to taste it in a little bit when it's ready. I am kind of thirsty though. So now we are going to be traveling to China and tasting this oolong tea, which basically I bought this because the can reminds me of this canned coffee that my friends and I were obsessed with on Birthright. They sell it at convenience stores and gas stations, which we would stop at when we were traveling to different points of the country. And we would literally buy like four of them and keep them in our backpacks. They had like a dolce de leche flavor, a latte flavor, and it was this canned iced coffee that I wish they sold in the US because it was so good. But this is just a no sugar, no artificial coloring oolong tea that I thought looked really good. And let's give it a try. Does anyone else love the sound of a can opening? Ooh. Here we go. Cheers, guys. Mmm, it's just a really natural tasting, yummy iced tea. I think it'd be really good if I added some honey in it or some sugar, but I kind of like unsweetened tea and this is quite good. Yummy. All right, for our next travel, we will be going from China to Japan. And in Japan, they are known for having some pretty cool sweet snacks. These two were the ones in the international aisle at the grocery store that stuck out the most to me. The first is this Pocky, which I've definitely seen people eat before, but I've never personally had it. And I picked the cookies and cream flavor because it just looked the best. And it is this cute little biscuit stick covered in cookies and cream. What could possibly not taste good about that? Let's see what they look like. I'm scared I'm gonna break them. Oh my gosh, it's just this tiny little baton. This is so cute. I think this would be good dipped in tea too. Mm. Oh, this is really good. The coating on it reminds me of those um, cookies and cream Hershey chocolate bars, which used to be my favorite growing up. So this definitely gets a thumbs up for me. 
Mm -mm -mm. I like that. Our second Japanese snack is a peach gummy candy, which I thought looked so good. And I just loved the cute little packaging. I feel like snacks and little gifty things from Japan always have the cutest packaging. And I really love peach ring candy. So I thought maybe this would be kind of the Japanese equivalent of that. Oh my gosh, it smells like a fresh peach. It does not really smell artificial at all. And this is what the candy looks like. They're just these cute little peach drops. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, those are good. I like that. I think that tastes like having two. All right, we are done with our Asian food tour. Next, let's move on to Israel and these are my two favorite snacks that I remember from Birthright and if you've ever been to Israel or even just met an Israeli you have probably heard of this first snack it is absolutely delicious it's by the brand Osem and it is Bamba and if you don't know what Bamba is it is essentially a peanut butter flavored cheese doodle but like the puffy cheese doodles they are absolutely delicious almost Every Israeli on my birthright trip was obsessed with these and got my friends and I hooked on them too. And I never thought I'd be able to find them in the US, but they literally sell them at Meyer in Michigan. So this is not a first impressions for me, but kind of more of a trip down memory lane and commemorating my time in Israel. They just smell like pure peanut butter. And this is what they look like. See what I mean? It's basically just a tiny little cheese doodle, but they're peanut flavored. <sighs> Eating Bamba brings back so many memories. I love this snack so much. If you go to Israel and you don't eat Bamba, honestly, was the trip even worth it? But if you can find it at home and have a little piece of Israel in the United States, highly recommend trying some Bamba. They are absolutely delicious. That's my Bamba happy dance. Our second Israeli snack today is also by the brand Osem. I feel like most of the snacks in Israel are of this brand and it is Bisley. This is another favorite snack of Israelis and it kind of reminds me of a barbecue Frito and they are these little curly snacks. They don't smell particularly good, but I smell everything, let's face it. So if you see, they are just these little curly cues and they're super, super crunchy and salty and just a very satisfying snack. Also, please ignore my nails. I really need to repaint them. Whoops. Mm, I love Bisley. Shout out to all my Shorshim Bus 117 friends. I miss you guys so much. Here's a little commemoration of our Israeli travels. Mm. I keep going back to this oolong tea. It's so good. All right, we are now traveling to the continent of Europe. And I think our first stop will be Amsterdam because our stroop waffle has been nice and warmed by our tea. Ooh, yummy. I can feel it. It's like soft now. Look at that ooey gooey caramel in the middle. And like I said, I got the chocolate caramel flavor. Let's give it a taste. This is the most Jess thing ever. I just realized that there's two in there. So I basically just ate double, but I'm not mad about it. What I really like about this drip waffle is even though it's chocolate caramel, it's not overly sweet. And it's just a very satisfying treat to have with a cup of coffee or tea. And I'm always drinking coffee. 
So I might have to go and buy a bigger package of those. And now on to our lovely British tea. Again, this is the black rose tea. It is absolutely delicious. I've made, I've made this tea many times before. It's really delicious. It smells like you're in a British rose garden, which when I went to London, my favorite thing to do was just wander around the absolutely amazing gardens there. Mm, this tea brings back memories of my time in London. My stomach's starting to hurt a little bit, you guys, but it's worth it because we are traveling and my favorite thing to do when I travel is taste all the snacks. So we just do it for the food. Okay, the next country we are traveling to is Italy. And I went to Rome, but I never saw this snack. It is called a caramel cono. And it's basically a caramel cream chocolate cone. And can you hear that? There's like little candy bits inside of it. I just thought this was so cute. So I had to try it. I love cute things. Oh my gosh. <gasps> There's like little rice balls on top and they just spilled all over my kitchen table. Why do I make a mess in every single video? It's a problem. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, you guys. It just looks like a teeny tiny little ice cream cone. I love it. I'm just gonna bite into it. Mm. This might be my favorite thing I've tried so far. It has this really creamy chocolate filling inside of a little waffle cone, and then the tiny little Almost like rice crunchies on top. They remind me of what's inside of a crunch bar. Oh, that is so good. I'm definitely going to save the rest of that for later. Mm -mm -mm. The last stop on our worldwide food tour is France. And that's where I studied abroad for a semester in my junior year of college. I was in Aix-en-Provence in the south of France. And it was the most amazing experience in my life, other than birthright, of course. But I lived in an apartment with two roommates and studied in France, traveled around the entirety of Europe, traveled around a lot of France. And I bought these cute little jars when I was in France. They are creme de course, which I believe is like a hazelnut spread. And one thing that I thought was super funny in Europe, which is something I never realized before, is that they don't really eat peanut butter there. Peanut butter is a super American spread. So when my parents came to visit, I had my dad bring little Jif to go cups and I shared them with all my French friends. And it was a super split reaction. They were either like, oh, I love this, or they thought it was the weirdest thing they've ever seen in their entire life. Obviously, Nutella is like the peanut butter of Europe but they also really love these little nut spreads. So I thought it'd be yummy to just try it on a cracker or something. I think it would probably be best spread on a fresh warm croissant, but I don't have any of those. That was my favorite thing when I woke up in the morning in France is that it just smelled like all the fresh. Mari, please be quiet. I'm trying to film a video. She's playing with plastic. It's very rude. Um. That's my cat, in case you were wondering. My favorite thing was waking up and just smelling the fresh pastries, the fresh bread. It was heavenly. But back to the video. Mmm, it just has a really natural scent. It's just this little nut spread. I have these little rice crackers from Trader Joe's. These are not international, but that's what I got. I'm just going to spread a little bit of this hazelnut spread on a cracker, and let's see how it tastes. That is yummy. It's a very natural flavor. It's not like those overly sugary nut butters that you get in the US. I don't even think it's a butter. It's more of just like almost a nut jam, which sounds really weird. I just dripped some of it on my table. I cannot win you guys. All right, that's all I have for you today. My wanderlust is so strong. I keep seeing those memes that say like, I can't wait to hear the words boarding pass and passport please, which that's what I can't wait to hear. I can't wait to get back out, travel the world, try more food. For now, I'll just have to settle for traveling from my kitchen table with some delicious international snacks. If you have a favorite international snack, leave it in the comments below. I'll try to see if I can get my hands on it because I love food and I love to try new things. My cat is driving me insane. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for joining me on our 
culinary world travel from my kitchen table. I hope to see you guys soon. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'm gonna go take a Tums and lay on the couch. Bye.